Reiner the Rep here, Barry Gerber, Chad way out there. We are here at PS Ennis. We are gonna be doing a review on the Easton Thing. Now this one here that we got here is a 26 ounce, uh, 12 and three quarter inch barrel with the new alloy handle, which is different than most Eastons. And you got your new triple wall insert design. I haven't seen a lot of these out there actually. Uh, from what the people that I do see have them, they love them. So I guess we'll see what it's about. It's time to unwrap the bat. Very approaches. He's done this probably like 8,000 times. He gets a shitload of bats. Hey, you got my trash? It's not litter bugs. All right. So we already calibrated the U-Triple-S-A with a compression tester. All righty. So confirm that it is zero. All right. Pull it. Right about what? 255. 260. 260. Just shy of 275. 275. We're going to see how uh, how much it drops, if it does at all. Today, we're going to be hitting a mix. We got some Evil Ultimate BP and Evil BP. So, big shout out to uh, Bobby uh, Bugs over at Evil BP for hooking me up with those balls. Cue the intro. Shot. Forgot where I'm at. You know what they say this? Those are supposed to be like a half ounce envelope. I'm making kind of, I feel like I'm swinging a balance. One hopper! Goodbye! Dang it! Oh! One hopper. Bro, it feels good. I guarantee like round two or three. I like the knob though. I like the like taper feel. That felt good. No ball. Nah. It's stiff. I think it'll open up nice though. All right, round two with the East End thing. Oh, that's my first one hopper. All right. Okay, Barry. Ooh. Oh, it's gonna be the first one. Nope. Ah, oh. over there. E worlds. <laughs> yeah, ain't nobody need kissing that. Let's go. Thirteen. Always been Sixteen. Another one hop over. Go ball! Ah, oh, one, two. Hey, okay, Barry. Three, two, three more. Round roll doubles. That's it, Jack. <laughs> All these rock bombs. Fiber. Cut 20. 
Tony. Cut two zero is a blow up berry. All right. I'm, I'm fine tuning it. Getting ready. Cut fifteen. Berry time, cut 20. Look at him, he's cheesing, I'm cheesing. Whoa. Whoa. Get my stance, check the lid, and we ready. Yes! 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 Yep. Snap that one off! Dude, this was really good now. I feel like it's, like you said, opening up, like the end of the barrel feels, like I felt like I couldn't find it now. It feels really good. Hey. Oh! Yo, Brungart. <laughs> Repersonation, I got it visualized it in my head. Okay, ready? But it goes eight by eight. <laughs> <laughs> right now the rep here we are done with four full rounds here at PSN it was not a good day as far as wind coming into the ballpark no home runs a lot of ground roll doubles a lot of one hoppers two hoppers Barry and me with our eight hoppers but Chad Barry 300 roughly let's see what she tests at There's zero, and pull it. Damn, it went like, went up. What the hell, that's what's going up. 275, 270-ish. All right, well, 300 cuts. I've never, I, I don't know, that's crazy. What'd you think about it, Barry? Um, at first it was uh, very hard to get used to because the sweet spot, if you weren't hitting it up here, you were not enjoying your hands at all, I promise you. This alloy handle is very stiff. Uh, you hit anywhere in the green or down, your hands are wrong. But once we uh, found the sweet spot, we started connecting with the sweet spot, probably third round, it really started to open up and feel good. Maybe if we didn't have such a strong wind blowing in, we might have actually hit a few out. Definitely Chad for sure. But uh, for Easton, it's definitely the most durable Easton I've swum ever. I mean. <laughs> we tested it after the third round, yeah. and we were at like 250, 255. Third round, or fourth round, 270, 275, so I don't know. It's weird. Needless, needless to say, it's not really dropping much. So if you're looking for a good bat to put a bunch of hacks on and still be able to swing in the tournaments if you get tested, uh, this is probably a bat for you. So, <clears throat> other than the uh, paint job I'm not a big fan of, <laughs> the biggest thing I like is the, the knob. It's rubbery, it's textured, it's got a good grip. You're not spraying a bunch of spray on this thing to hang on to it. I can see a lot of manufacturers going this route. Um, like Barry was saying, you can hack on this thing all day long, it's not gonna break. This is a, this is a bad out swing in 90 plus degree temperature when I was gassed and just wanted to flip it over first base. This is the bat I'd go for. This is not gonna be my derby bat. I probably won't pick one of these up because uh, I, don't, I don't like a stiffer handle, I like a good whip. So, but this thing is, Rock hard. Not a lot of flex to it. Huh? No, but you're gonna get your money's worth out of this thing. So. The Easton thing. Um, I was kind of very uh, excited to swing this bat. Heard a lot of good things about it. Um, I am too, like Chad said, a fan of this like rubbery knob. If you kind of tell there, it's like a weird rubbery knob, but I like it a lot. Um, it kind of, I don't know, kind of conforms to my to my palm. Um, it did feel very very stiff. Um, it's not a bad thing. It's just everybody wants game ready, right? Everybody wants the fire stick. Everybody wants a hot stick. I think this humbles people because it's not your bat that you bring out and then automatically hit 10 bombs, and go 10 for 10 in a home run derby. But in time, I feel like you put enough cuts. This bat, I feel it, it, it brings people back down to earth. So there's not those e-ballers and d-ballers posting their home run videos on YouTube or Facebook looking cool out of the wrapper. 
okay, this makes you work for it, which is good. I like it. So I think that's a, it's, I like the bat design. I know he kind of, Chad said, I don't like the, the paint design. I kind of like simplicity, kind of look like an old school vibe deal to it, but uh, I think it's pretty cool. Um, would I pick this up myself? Probably uh, not, only because it was weird. I don't know, it's kind of like, for me, the Onyx, when we hit the Onyx Dominate, um, felt like it's supposed to be end loaded, but everything felt like it was in the green part for me. But I like a big end load, and as you can see, the, feel, the field here felt like 385 today. But Barry, thank you for letting us swing your bat as always. It's like, I think at least four, four of, of Barry's bats have been on the page or on the uh, channel. So, I mean, check it out. I think it's a, it's a good bat. B best bang for your buck when you want it to hold compression. Cause I mean, we put 300 cuts on it today easily. It's still 270, 265, you know. Hey, let them know. Rider the Red hooked you up, all right? All right, we out.